Hey, hi. Thank you for coming by Tori Magoo 44. It's me, Mr. Anonymous. It is Christmas time. How are you doing? Good. He's my little buddy from Norway. And one of my friends asked me to talk about transitions out of Scientology. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. It's, it's Christmas time. I just came back tonight with a wonderful friend seeing Merry Tuba Christmas and talk about an awesome incredible thing. If you get to do it, it's here in LA. I think they have it actually around the United States now. It was 150 tubas on a stage and we all sang Christmas carols. They played them. It was fantastic. But it was free. It's here every Christmas. So plan on going next year. Look at it. It's our early beginning of the year to start the Christmas off. But anyway, I wanted to tell you for the first transition I'm going to talk about is of course the wonderful friends that I've met out here once I got out of the Church of Scientology. And I know people say don't call it a church, but that's what their title is, so I say that. But I, I agree with you. They're certainly not a church. They couldn't be farther from a church. But um, I've just met incredible people ever since I left. The church builds in that you know they're all evil and the only good people are in the church. Nothing could be farther from the truth. There are so many kind and wonderful people out here. Many ex-Scientologists, many now independents who are still using the tech, that's a whole different group, but there's tons of people who are critics, meaning they were never in the church, but they've studied, they understand that they fought for our rights to free speech, even though the church has tried to stop it, and then Anonymous came around in 2008, and they've been fabulous, so I've just met people around the world, it's been incredible, and truly they have been saving you know, all of us, I think. I really feel like that. It's a, it's it's an incredible experience, and it certainly is like Christmas. I know it's a tricky time for all of us now, but I'm going to open up my gift and show you some of the fun stuff Andrea sent me. Not, not everybody's not going to get something from Andrea. That's just the way it is. But maybe you can make up a gift like this for one of your friends. You know what I mean? Because all of us, you want to pass it on. And he knows, he sends a ton of stuff, and I keep a little bit, and then I pass stuff on and share it with other people from Andrea. So anyway, here's Andreas's thing. <laughs> I tried to I, I tried to open it. Oh, wait. Sorry. I tried to open it on camera, but it, it didn't tape at all. <laughs> so here it is. <laughs> Andreas, you are a character. He has sent me wonderful things ever since I left. But one of my very, very favorite things is the chocolate. Oh, they're so yummy. And he sent me two of them this year. They're just beyond belief. belief. <laughs> Here's some other goodies. <laughs> Andreas, you are too funny. He sent me... Ooh, that looks yummy. More goodie stuff. Here's some flatbread. And he sent some stuff to put on the flatbread, too. Oh, wait, hang on. All right, just a second. I think, I'm not sure, I kind of have to play with this stuff, I think this stuff goes on the flat. <laughs> I don't know for sure. I have more stuff in my house from Norway. It's hysterical. Here's some more yummy stuff to eat. Andreas, you know you're going to try to get me to gain my 100 pounds back that I lost. But boy, I'm telling you, eating this stuff you can't. It's so good. So I have to share it with everybody because otherwise I could eat most of it. Oh, here's some... He's trying to get me healthy, I think, some of this. You guys let me know if you've ever had any of this stuff. He's got good stuff. <laughs> so I have to pass it around or else I'll just eat and eat and eat so there's no tomorrow. But he's fantastic cookies. He knows I love those cookies. Now this is a little tricky, but I'll try it. What the heck? He knows try sardines. Ooh. I don't know. I might try it. <laughs> oh, you sent me a Santa. <laughs> yeah, the best chocolate in Norway. Is, I, it's awesome. I have so many Norwegian things here in my house from Andreas. You'd think I was from Norway. Ooh, these are yummy. Wait, there they are. Ooh, tasty. Yummy. Ooh. Oh, how cute. A little bell. Oh, I love that. That is sweet. You are just an incredible person, Andreas. You really are. Oh, yeah, and here's his paper. <laughs> Norway memo blah. Norway has some of the cle most clever things I've ever seen. Oh, yeah, here's some jam, too. I love those little jams. 
And then here's some more. Oh, mackerel, you're trying to get me to these fish. She's always trying to get me healthier. Ooh, these look good. More chocolate eggs. I have enough candy, it's like Christmas time. Oh, there's another bell. Oh, how cool. Oh, how cool, and it's a different sound. Wow. And here's some more goodies. And, ooh, okay, that's good. All right. Oh, and you sent me a little heart. I love this little heart. And I love these bells. They're so cool. <laughs> so sweet. All right, well, anyway. Oh, here's another cool thing. But look at this little sweet thing that's on it, too. How cute is that one? A little hard on it. He's just so sweet and theta. Theta, listen to me. <laughs> anyway, it is, though. It reminds me of that word, which means, you know, just wonderfully. To me, it's just like joy. It's not just me, but that's what I think of when I do it. Oh, there's another bell. I love these bells. That is fantastic. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, here's some uh, some little drops from Norway. They have the coolest stuff. Norway just has tons of cool stuff. They really do. If you haven't gone to Norway, I mean, I'm a big fiend of telling everyone. Because everyone who goes to Norway, oh, yeah, look at this. How cool is this? It's a little thing to make a cookie with, with a little Norwegian bow on it. How cute is that? You're hard to beat, Andreas. It is. It's going to be tricky to try to beat you. And thank you for your note, too. It's so sweet. I love you. You're such a wonderful person. And I know you don't want to hear it, but you are. And thank you for my Christmas gift. I just had to show everybody that, you know, you might be inside thinking how horrible it is. Is that horrible? I never got anything that nifty from anybody in the Church of Scientology. I mean, I got a few cool things. I did. But this is outrageously cool. And that's Andreas. He's an incredibly wonderful person. And so are tons of my friends. I have wonderful friends around the world. And I can't tell you enough how much I love all of you. You have truly and honestly, you know, you're just like, like, and I saw um, fried green tomatoes again the other night. And she said, you know, there's, there's angels that are, she was saying it to the little son when the mother was dying. And she said, you know, there's angels that are walking around this earth that are disguised. And, and your mother's one of them. And that's how some of you people are. And you know who you are. And you are. That's what I feel like. Your, your people disguise, your angels disguised as people. And I thank you so much. So there you go. I hope you guys are starting the season. Celebrate. I know it is a really tricky time for all of us. It's a very, very difficult time in many ways. I know this doesn't look like difficult. But I'm just saying, there's a lot of tricky stuff going on for all of us. For me too. And all I can say is let's try to move it aside for at least a month and celebrate Christmas. Celebrate Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. Celebrate the holidays. Pass it on. Pass on some love. Have a wonderful time. Look around your your city. Like we went to see a Merry Tuba Christmas tonight. It was free. We walked in. We paid nothing. It was wonderful. It was absolutely wonderful. So look around in your city because there's tons of wonderful things at Christmas time that are free for children, for adults, all kinds of stuff. You got to take advantage of them. All right. Peace out. I love you. Happy holidays.